The following fight takes place in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is an MMA specialist and stands five feet eight inches tall. He went in officially at 155.7 pounds and holds an MMA record of 12 victories and four defeats. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by the way of Whittier, California. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is an MMA specialist and stands five feet eight inches tall. He went in officially at 155.7 pounds and in his 28 fight career has earned a record of 21 wins and seven losses. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona by way of La Miranda, California. Henry O.K. Coyes. Referee Charles Brian Miner. Brian Miner will oversee the action. Final battle of our early card. Henry Corrales in the black trunks. Aaron Pico in the ballet Tudo tight trunks. I was on the card the night that these two fought for the very first time. I saw Aaron Pico behind scenes after the fight. To explain to you how dejected he was would be difficult to put into words. But one thing about Aaron Pico, even in defeat, he gets up the next day, he goes to the gym, he looks forward. And here he is in a rematch that he never asked for. This was a short notice fight by Corrales. I gotta give Corrales a lot of credit for taking the risk. He already beat Pico once, he's gotta go try to do it again. Pico went on a shot here, Pico gets the takedown. Corrales needs to keep that arm straight on the head just like he's doing. Don't give up on that, keep that distance. He'll be able to scramble to his feet. He's gotta keep that arm straight. If he can stay elevated as he gets back to the cage, he can use that barrier back to his feet. Henry Corrales, a veteran of the sport, almost 30 fights in. When you have a wrestler as good as Pico, it's not a surprise that he could go find a takedown particularly early. But the fact that Corrales could scramble back up to his feet with no damage done, pretty impressive. Pay-per-view card coming next. Pay-per-view champs versus oh! champs. Nice high kick attempt there for Pico Sorry, on the exit. Dan, you could hear that, couldn't you? You know I love a high kick, and yep. that one snaps right <laughs> the side of his head. Yeah, right no, hand before the kick down. <laughs> Once again, Pico using that angle, running his feet in a tight circle. And this time, it's going to be harder for Henry Corrales to stand up. You could see that veteran experience in Henry Corrales when Pico grabs a hold of him, making every single battle dangerous for him, difficult for him. Trying to get into the floor, he makes it very, very hard work. Everything Pico's doing, he's having to earn here right now. Look at this, beautiful work. Corrales using the fence to get back to his feet. He's going to dig an underhook in a minute, but he's very aware of those elbows. Driving elbows, left hook, and then back in on the leg. Pico just chaining the attacks together. Now working his way to the back of Henry Corrales. Little mat return as Corrales tried to climb his way up the barrier. Right here in front of the broadcast position. Corrales doing an excellent job of getting back to his feet. It's incredible. One thing, and I say this as a wrestler, one thing that will frustrate a wrestler mentally is if he gets a takedown, but he doesn't get to use it. He doesn't get to take a couple of deep breaths on top. That's what Corrales is gonna do. That's gonna frustrate Pico. You will see these takedown attempts slowing by Pico if Corrales keeps springing back to his feet. Pico mixing the attacks even more now. Another high kick attempt there. Little blood on Pico, surprisingly. I wonder where it came from. Boy, Corrales staying composed, and he's not breathing deep either, guys. A lot of work been done for a guy that's taking a fight on short notice. He's not breathing deep yet. Dan Hardy, how many rematches did you fight in your career? Oh, a few, a good few. I always enjoyed a rematch because you know what you're dealing with from the last time that you fought, but you've also got to appreciate they've evolved. Aaron Pico's won eight fights since the last time he faced Henry Corrales, and you can see that maturity in his game now. The last time the fight was just over a minute long, and he got caught because of overzealousness, a little immaturity perhaps. We can see that maturity here, how he's building this game, 
He's building the fatigue into his opponent. Beautiful jab. And I will go out on a limb, and I'll take the controversy, but I think you'll agree with me. Aaron Pico's got some of the best hands in all of mixed martial arts. Well, you've heard Chael talking about his wrestling credentials. He was also a Gold Gloves champion, which is why the sport of mixed martial arts was so excited about his choice to come into mixed martial arts instead of pursuing an amateur wrestling career. Another takedown, once again in a great control position here. See if Aaron Pico, who's building some momentum as this round progresses, if he can earn himself a finish before we see round two. A great pattern for Pico historically has been when he wrestles first and then goes to his strikes. When he comes out and strikes first and chooses to wrestle a little bit later on, he's been caught. I like that he takes a little bit of energy out of, in this case, Corrales first. I like that he just used a good old fashioned half Nelson and ran it around to put Corrales on his back there. Pico's got to be careful. It looked like he attempted a knee there. If he had landed that knee, it would have been an illegal if it landed on the head. Nice nasty left hands. This might be the end for Corrales, who's covering up. And a flurry of elbows. We will not see round two. Revenge for Eric Pico. A very impressive, well-rounded, mature performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Brian Marler calls a halt to the action at four minutes and 53 seconds of the first round, declaring your winner via TKO, Aaron Pico!